So, welcome back everyone. Hopefully the stream is on. Mm, I should check for that. I'm trying my best to finish six hours today. I start working around nine. And I took a break for, I don't know, but around 40 minutes or something. Something is wrong with Live Code TV. Uh, I cannot see any stream for some reason, but some people entered my room before. So it should be on. Let's try to play some music. Um, oops, sorry about that. I don't want to play epic music. Let's play something. I really love I'm kind of one of these boring guys that I keep listening to the same music over and over and I apologize for that I already played this one before but I still love it so we worked or I showed some work around three hours in front of the camera a uh, third of it was crude and the other third was crude. The first one was crude because the pirate pack was on all the time and no one told me. And it's my mistake, I should check every time. And the third part is crude because instead... And instead of having progress, I destroyed all code. So what I'm going to do is trying to restore at least some of the code before I screw up even more. So this one was e to x, e to x, this is not a calculus class, e dot y, and let's see if the result is the same. Man, I'm really getting really bored of work today, it just, uh, my limit has been exceeded. But let's give it, keep trying, let's keep trying. So what was the problem is placing the objects while zooming has screwed up. And I don't like that. I want to fix that. So let's try to zoom. So apparently, hopefully, we fixed the problem. So yeah, uh, this is the original, let's try mini with dynamic. Oh, oh, it's, it's already screwed. So it was screwed in the first place. Hmm, I need to fix that. So, first step is to fix this problem. So apparently this is more difficult than I thought. So let's rise the difficulty to, this one is seven, this one is eight. Uh, but I believe they are important. They're really important. Uh, they give user good experience. Uh, at least the guy who was making the maps. I would like to move these three um, 
up. Yeah, okay. It seems when I moved it up, it deleted the other three. Man. Yeah, it eated them. I mean, God, dude. Why? I need to calm down. Yeah, it didn't eat them. So this is done. All right. So we have a problem, um, placing objects when the dynamic placing mini objects on layers with X, with uh, camera speed on different zoom doesn't place the objects in the right location so actually maybe not seven uh, i have been dealt on more difficult stuff let's lower it again five and six okay and this is annoying. This took me now more than an hour and it's still not, not, not working. So. Let's try to fix this guy. So. The original line is not working. When you place an object, oh, oh, silly me, it was working because this calculation was there. So let's, God, I hate myself. Um, let's remove these. And replace them with, at least in here. And copy this part. But wait. Yeah, I need this part. And replace this part with call X again. More testing. So let's test the normal size and then zoom in. Then we change the size. Uh, to be honest, this is what's called safe testing. Let's make it unsafe.
Let's make it 500. And this too, let's give it the same aspects. First of all, I don't want to save the object. Sorry about that. So let's make a new map. Because save as have some issues. And I'm too lazy to fix it or check it out. So I usually save all. So here. We have five layers each. Let's add them in here. And do the same calculation in the first one. So this is... Um, Man, I really forgot the calculation. I believe it was like this. Yeah. Am I sure? Maybe I fixed that. Hmm, shouldn't that... Oh well, let's do the same thing. So this is the zoom factor and this is the X speed. So this one is 1.88, 1 1.75, 1 1.62, 1 1.5, and um, the speed here, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2. All right, let's save in the maps. And then close and start over. Load the maps. Let's load test two only. Let's add bad background so we see how why the program crashed. What the hell? The program crashed for a second. Interesting. Actually, the computer was slowing down recently when I was playing with the Google Drive. And I'm not sure, maybe it's a computer stuff. Or maybe I screwed up somewhere. Yeah, I screwed up somewhere. Maybe the size 500 by 500 is not small anymore even though the last test i made for the size i could open 20,000 by 20,000 why this thing is frozen interesting um all right so let's add a background to tell um uh, what's going on so let's add a few And let's add one a little bit far. And let's add one really far. Uh, 
So if I zoom out, you'll see there's something in there. So this is a map of 500 by 500. Let's try to add some objects in it. So to test uh, the, the function is working right or not, let's go far in the map and see if it's going to behave in a correct way or not. Like in here, in the middle of nowhere. So the zoom is, let's go to zoom one. Yeah, we have some float issues in here. And uh, as you can see, the objects place in the correct positions. Let's try to add mini because the mini calculation is a little bit different. Um, and let's add some in the front. So this is working, which is good, but let's test the dynamic part. So these objects should move when the camera move. But you don't see that because I didn't tell the, the map editor to work as if it was a game. I need to activate the dynamic one and you will see that how far they are when you move the camera. So the far objects will move slower and the closer objects will move faster whenever the camera move. So here's the question, if I place them now, will they place them in the right position or not? So let's try that. And it does. But if I remove the dynamic, they will go somewhere else here, as you can see. And the close objects went there because this is how it's calculated. And as I said, this is useful if you want to make something like, let's see. Imagine if the player can walk and he can reach here. Oh, the zooming is a little bit wild. And here. And imagine if you want to make some layers. Let's add some blocks in here. Yeah, this is my work, the background, but the tills are from the artist, so you can tell the difference. It gets slow when the map is large and I try to um, draw a lot of tills in the same time. And I don't know why, I'm trying to make everything optimized, but it seems GDI plus is still not... Hmm, I didn't use double buffer. Maybe I need to use double buffer to make things uh, much faster. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, it's, it's getting slower and slower. Okay. Um, and we have a character. So when he reached to a certain area in the map, let's say we want to make some kind of um, like a letter, like a heading letter or something. So let's put a dynamic and let's say we are going to make a giant A. A very ugly giant A for correction. And uh, 
maybe another letter in here like H Let's not put all the layers. I'm just trying to prove something. And I'm doing a very bad job of it. And maybe another letter. Here. So when the character move now. Or the camera move. And it goes from left to right. It should form the letter in certain position where I was standing here. So when the player reach here, he can read the letters. Uh, it's just an attempt. But actually, this is not the right position in the data. The right position, they are yeah flying everywhere. As you can see, the letters actually are sca uh, scattered based on the layer position. So in the data, they, they, they here where they are, but in the game, when this, these things move while the camera move, they will appear in the correct position. And that's why I want to be able to place the objects while the camera is moving and see the dynamic thing. So we can make the secret letters or whatever in this position based on the camera and the zoom. As you see, when I zoom is different too. So I can place objects, even if it is dynamic now. All right. So what I was trying to do before I screwed up this code. So now this is the original code. I was trying to do something. What was it? Ah. Jesus. So we fixed that. Uh, it was broken. Now it's fixed. See the the um, uh, Google Drive is so slow, and this guy is still loading. What the hell is going on? So something is going on. Maybe I need to reset all my browsers. I mean, look at that. Yeah, this is not. Something is wrong. Let me kill Firefox. Kill Firefox. Damn it. You too. Stop. Stop. Yeah, sorry about that. The Firefox is. Even when it's dead, the music is still on. <sighs> oh wow okay I'm going to do oh finally <laughs> uh, I will give it a minute okay did it cut all the coughed all the the memory are we fine now please so let's try the Google Drive again and hopefully it's not lagging mm. nope it's a little bit slow gosh yeah it's still a little bit slow but much better so I was trying to add a flag to place the objects based on their size or based on the till. Uh, unfortunately, the um, the chat is has disappeared because we need to load it again. Oh wow! This is taking forever. 
maybe um, a computer reset will be nice. So I need to reset the chat setting. Good. All right. Um, so what? Why? Why all of this crap? Why all of this crap? Uh, the whole story is I want to add a flag in here. When I place the objects, it's place them in the same position of the blocks, or maybe the same size of the objects. So, for example. If I want to make a simple puzzle game or RPG game, um, yeah, apparently loading 500 tills is slower than before. I wonder what I have done. I added tons of features in the map, but it shouldn't affect or get affected by the size that much. So whenever I add tails, they add based on the location of the tail. Simple enough. So you, we can place them like this. I'm better to make them solid. Actually, it's better to make them both fire solid and for some reason, the menu is not working anymore. I need to check why. Uh, let me add that. Somewhere. And we fixed that. So let me color it. When holding Alt menu the um, solidity doesn't change anymore check what's wrong with it back front doesn't matter should be not be difficult but it's kind of important really important so what the hell Uh, hello? I cannot add anything. I can remove. What the hell? Uh, hey, 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 hey. I don't know. Something is wrong. Oh, now the menu effect is... There. What the hell? So, when I left, it... Kept the menu or the alt functionality on all the time. So, Jesus, I don't know what just happened. Anyway, so you see how it works. But when we add the objects, uh, we can add them anywhere. Uh, because we don't have a name, we can add them in the first place. So we can add them here, here, here. Let's remove the attribute. Here, here, here. But they not working as the, the tails, as a blocky procedure. You cannot add something in between. So I'm trying to add a flag where it does the same thing to object. When it's on, I should be able, whenever I click on here, it will uh, put the object exactly on the block size. So this uh, requires some work. And I tried to do it. And I made a lot of code and it all screwed up. 
So we need to try to do it again. So let's think about this step by step. How these things are placed are placed by these objects and we have the uh, the calculated x in here and part of the calculation we add <laughs> we add uh, the camera position where the camera at because this is a little bit confusing you see this box but actually we have a camera data a coordination to scroll around uh, the map Give it a few seconds to load. Dang it, maybe I need to add a scroll bar to, to load the maps to show how far you are at. I never thought it will take that much time. And load the game. And what I was going to say, I forgot because the fucking slow loading. Um, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Jesus Christ, what I was saying. Oh, yes. Um, so if we have a background at 11, 11, because it's easier to type than 10, 10. And we have values to show the scroll, the camera. And they are, as you can see, you can tell very important because if we didn't use them, when I place something in here, it will place it on the corner because it doesn't know that I'm scrolling and that's why. And we have zoom too, which bring the things larger and move them. And yet when I click here, it add them in the mouse location because uh, it's using calculation in here to uh, shift, the, to shift the objects to the correct position. So now we need to do even more complicated calculation based on the layers and how far, how far they go by the camera plus this feature plus another feature I will add later. So as you can see, it's a calculation mess. We have too many variables and I need to deal with all of them. So I need to imagine why and how when I add an object and I want it to be uh, in the chart, um, mm, how should it work? So I tried before to um, take the location of X and divide it and then multiply it and it didn't work because I screwed up big time. Maybe we need to analyze it in mathematical way. What I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm doing a lot of philosophical bullshit. So bear with me. Um, hopefully I don't lose this image. Let's make a new one for testing. Because that image is one of the oldest and I really like it. Uh, does this thing have sh uh, grid? Aha. Can I control the grid? Hello? Grid? Uh, I want you bigger, damn it. So when I zoom, the grid gets smaller. What the f... Okay. Calm down. Uh, I don't see anywhere to... I don't think I can control this grid crap. Oh well. Uh, let's throw a crabby grid version. <sighs> Screw that. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. We have a grid in here. We have many grids in here. 
Let's copy the object ones or the bullet ones. So we have a grid in here, for example, a very wacky grid. And imagine this is where the game in here or the map simulator. And I'm trying to place an object, let's say this object. So the object is placed, the determined based on many things I said before, the, uh, the mouse location, the camera and everything. But the thing is, the mouse will always be a multiple of 48 plus the camera. Hmm. Yeah, the camera must be in the calculation because if I exclude the camera like this and you see the camera now is a little bit on the right and I said let's just take the position of EX it will be in here it won't be in here so the camera must be uh, taken position <sighs> And actually, I would like to do a third flag. Um, I would like to do a block two flag. where it depends on the size of the object more than the than the till the 48 yeah i'm everywhere and i apologize for that so the question is how can we do this calculation without screwing up big time uh, let's ignore the zoom for now even though zoom is important mm. so if we have the camera is zero and the mouse is let's say here and we want it to be placed as based on the block of the tail it should be here even though the mouse is here in this corner so what is going on let me cut this because maybe i will screw up something really soon we are dividing the mouse position by 48 so if the mouse position here and we divide it by 48 it becomes 3 then we multiply it by 48 again so it come here exactly so because the 3 multiplied by 48 is uh, around around uh, 98 plus 48 which yeah so it is 150 minus 6 144 And this is, well, you said multiply by three. Mm. Oh, these are 24, silly you, aren't they? Yeah, these are 24. So 24, 48 plus 24, damn it. 60 something or 70 something or something. Anyway, I'm losing my mind already. And that's same with Y. But this will work only when the camera is not moved. So let's try that first. And if successful, we can jump to the, the camera position. So what we are going to do is we are going to divide the sucker by 48 and then multiply it by 48.
We will do the same thing with this. Let's load map one this time. So if we have an object, and we place it here, it will place it in a corner. We place it here, even though I'm placing it not exactly at the corner, because it goes in the way I want it. But if I move the camera, oh, Weird. Interesting. So, hmm, the calculation apparently doesn't care about the fucking camera. So, if I move the camera here and try to place the object somewhere in the middle. Oh, you see? No, it's affected by the camera. As I said, if the camera is moved by uh, less than 48 or plus 48, it will screw up the calculation. So we need to take care of that. So the only difference between them is the camera again. So uh, the easiest way to do that is to add the camera and mode it by 48. So that will give us a fraction of how many blocks. No, that will screw up. No, no, mod it, mod it with 48. But where should I add that f f uh, part? Uh, the problem is I'm not sure where should I add this part. So, Yeah, we should add it in here. God. I don't know if that will work, but we have only one way to find out. So hopefully this will fix the problem with the camera. Next we will deal with zoom, but what one step at a time So if we move the camera a little bit, yeah, it became off. Hmm? Hmm. Did I miss something? So 288, that's the camera. Molded with 48. I wonder if we have molding in here. Yeah. I don't know what's the, the symbol of molding in calculator. You imagine that? Oh, there you go. The 
damit. So if I add five and add it to the EX and let's say EX is uh, 50 or uh, 41 it becomes 49 and then divided by 48 it become 2 um, logically it should work but for some reason I don't know what's wrong maybe if I put these into parentheses Why do I want to do this? Well, to design maps that look like real maps. Uh, lucky. How to. Yeah. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, a little bit depressing, eh? <clears throat> what did I do wrong? Wait. Why don't I... Why don't why I take away the whole camera position? No, that doesn't make sense. Because the camera position we saw already before is 288. So if you take 288 from, hmm, from 48 or something, Oh well, be right back. So we are back. So I'm not sure why is not this working. So let's take a look again on the positioning. So this is the position of the mouse. 
and it's getting affected by the 48 should I affect it directly oh sorry and the position of the mouse we add the position of the camera to get the actual size uh, position that we want uh, to be honest what I believe what's affecting the calculation is this part so we adding the position of the camera over the calculation here and we already added the position of the camera damn it actually we should take away the extra position of the camera that's modded with the 48 I believe that's the mistake so let's test it again So let's take an out size and let's add it blocky. So here you can see the blocks. But when I move the camera a little bit, oh Jesus. yeah they are not on the same position and actually they are not added in the right position either <sighs> why it's not hmm why it's not working Yeah, most of this video I'm staring at the same game. Eh? Let me think again. Uh, the camera <coughs> can go like even 48 or 50. And if we mod it with 48, we will get 2. No, I, I should add it. So if this thing is should working and it doesn't work, then why it's not working? So imagine if the camera is uh, 48 plus 47, and maybe that's the problem because it doesn't consider the first 48. Um, maybe that's the problem. Because when you take 47, mod it with 48, oh no, it give you 47, sorry. So it considered this, uh, this value. So if the camera is somehow like this, so let's say this is 30, and I'm having the mouse in here, it should say uh, the mouse location plus the missing part in here, which is 30. And let's say the mouse is here. So the missing part here is 30 plus the mouse location. Hmm. Divide it over 48, then multiply it by 48 to remove the fractions. Uh, what will happen is if I have the uh, camera location is 48 multiplied by M, any number you choose, plus 30, it will still have the same calculation. It will say the same mouse location plus 30 which is the mistake because it shouldn't add 30 wait 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 it should add 30 because 
the camera location will be added again in this fucking line. So, I should add 30 when I'm there. Even though, because in this case, for example, I should add around 40. Because this is around the camera location that I'm missing from uh, the grid. I'm talking about that as if these are 48 by 48, but actually these are 24 by 24. So just to add another layer to the confusion, I don't think anyone in the world can follow this except me and God. And it's not me because I'm a genius, but because I'm the one who created the mess. But I'm trying. I'm trying to show how people think about these problems and how can they solve them. So it seems what I'm doing is correct, but something is amiss. So if I add the EX plus the camera location divided all of it by 48, Then multiplied by 48, it should give me the right block position. So let me try to do the calculation one more, more time and see if this is correct or not. So let's say, yeah, first crop. Let's, um, it forgot the number, damn it. Um, let's copy this one. Uh, let's say the camera is in the middle and we are here. And we are placing in here. So it's added the shift, the half of this. So it's, it seems to, the, the, the mouse location was in here, plus the missing shift of the camera. So jump it here. So this should be giving me the right location. Same if, if we are really, really far away from the camera. Wait, 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 return back to your example. It will add it here, but then it will add more position of the camera based on the viewer itself. Maybe that's the problem. Think about it. This guy still remember the position of Oh my god, my head hurts. Let's return back to the old, the old example. I have a shift in the camera, let's say 24. And the mouse is here, uh, 24. But in the real location, uh, the mouse is here, 24, plus the 24 from the camera. So this is the calc x location but this is the location of call x so it become 48 exactly but this guy will add even more uh, from the camera which is the 48 that uh, with the, the zoom factor so i believe this is the problem The only way to solve it is to remove this part at the end. This is fucking crazy. Wait, wait let me think for a second. Are you fucking sure? Should I remove it in here? Because this thing is going to be divided and multiplied again. Uh, pray what we are waiting for. Let's give it a try.
Let me leave a note before I forget what I said. Assessed. Uh, first of all, let's not add the ca uh, move the camera. And when we select blocky. And when we move the camera a little bit, oh, Do you see what I'm seeing? If you don't call that a success, I don't know what you call it. Uh, the only problem is I want to stop at the middle, at the exact middle of a stone and I can't. Ah, it was perfect. Oh, good. Man, it's working. It's working like magic. I don't believe this shit. Save. Save. Um, uh, the hour has finished a few minutes ago. So let's um, restart the timer, take a break, and return in 10 minutes. Actually, while I'm in a break. Uh, let me take this note. Take these out and copy these instead. As spare functions. <sighs> So, man, that was beautiful. Uh, if there's something called beauty in the world, that will be this. And this will be it. See you in 10 minutes.
someone is calling and I need to end the work in here. So, uh, see you next time. Stop streaming.